Okay, so this guy, we want to get him down to buff catalyst. Oh, already has exploit. Oh, shit. He has double exploit for multi-buff. So do I want to do the Firestorm for the burn or fiery shots? Go for the fiery shots. I think I'd rather go for the damage. Because this guy is surprisingly... Good at heals. So do I want to go... I guess the real question is, what does Puff give? So, Puff has multi-sorcery and multi... Well, okay. Baseline, we want to go down this. Because I gotta get dragon blood. And combo buffing. Improved Assault is stupid good. And I want to go down Cleansing Flame. Okay, and this guy's a critter. I don't think we actually need sorcery as much. Like, this this whole tree is less effective than the other two. Has Glory? No. We want the crit damage. Go for light o Life Overload. Combo... Oh, that's why I'd want to get the glory. I wonder if Brawler works with combo buffing. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Go for the extra attacks. Go for that. We want to go for crit chance. Probably crit damage. He has heroism, but I think I want to get cleansing flame. Being able to remove mad buffs from the enemy from my enemies should help a lot. Let's see, Forge for Glory. Otherwise, we get Aerial Strike. And... I'm gonna go Cascade. Because I think that's gonna work best on him. Okay, next up... Just Buffs. Grab Protector. Whenever a monster in the party gains might, chance to gain... Yeah. I mean, I kind of have to. And let's not go for the AoE, because from my experience, the AoEs sometimes work not great for team fights. Grab mana proc. Grab that. Okay, so he's still got seven skill points. I think I want to grab life overload and life stability. Just to keep this guy alive. So he he benefits from life and mana. Uh I'd like to go for the health proc, but let's go for the health focus. So this should give me a shit ton of buffs. We've got Dragon Blood on him. This guy doesn't have Dragon Blood. Okay, so let's keep going down this direction. Don't want to go for support. Yeah. Because I want to get Heroic Party here. So I have Mud Cannon, but I think I want to go Slime Shot. I 
let's see. Increased mana. Like, this tree would be nice. But I don't think I'm going to be able to utilize it yet. Yeah, let's get breaking spells and elemental break, just for the armor armor break bonuses. And then aqua blast and hybrid mastery, just for just raw stats. Okay, so floof floof benefits from crits. Let's see. Puff kind of benefits from crits, but mostly wants health and mana. And Draco Grand wants crits and health. Okay, so we gotta get we gotta get coat. And hide. Actually, no. Finn. Definitely Finn. Damage might make sense, but I think we want the feather. Let's see, what weapon did I give to the Draco Grant? Nothing specific. Probably go for the pirate hook. Puff benefits from both. Yeah, we'll give her the moon sword. You want health and mana. So the frozen tier is pretty good. The ribbon is really good. And plus three is decent. Defense and mana. That one's pretty good. Broach is really good. Kind of? Broach is okay. Crown is really good. Okay, and Floof... Floof wants magic? Oh, it wants both. And it wants crit. So do I have... We got the fin. The fin is good. Feather, cape... Some of there's... Some of these are decent. Let's see. Defense, crit. I don't know if healing skills like regen works. Hey, thank you, Criers, for the raid, and welcome on in, everybody. Sorry I'm not fully paying attention. I'm a little distracted trying to make my team not get demolished. Okay, Needle is really good. Probably something that gives mana regen. Scroll? Scroll's pretty good. 132, 124. That should be okay. Alright, let's try this again, guy again. Let's give this to shot. Alright. Hella team combo time. Do Phalanx. It's team buff versus team other buff. Okay. That looks promising. Let's see, I have regeneration, but instead I'm just going to do cleansing flame. Well, that's one way to do it. So then we kind of want to aim for the front guy, because he's, he's hella team... Oh, you don't you gosh darn dare.
get those buffs off. Because he, he is by and far one of the more dangerous dudes for me to have to contend with. Okay, hit him with the slime shot. Yep. I think dragon combos got it in one. Just do fire claws. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, I knew this combo was going to be solid. I just got to figure out how to get them to drop debuffs. Just do claws on that dragon. Who needs a killing? Uh, you know what? Fire claws on this guy will just delete him. Maybe I should try dragon combo against, uh... Let's see. I Maybe I... I should give the dragon combo a shot against the Draco Zul. I don't think I'd succeed. I think I'd be in trouble. Get rid of those buffs. Get rid of him. There we go. Oh, that was fast. You've become a very capable monster keeper in a short span of time. Who knows what potential you have? I'll keep a close eye on you in the future, but for now, this is a sanctuary token as promised. We did it! Now we, all we have to do is... Uh... Now... Wait, so now we have all the sanctuary tokens, we can finally uncover this hidden- this forbidden area. I wish you good luck as you traverse the forbidden area. You shouldn't need my help, so I'll follow up on a different lead. However, I'm sure we'll meet again soon. We're probably the first in at least a hundred years or so to pass through this door. Let's go. Alright, skill points. Yeah, let's start going down this. Probably. Uh, you know what? Let's grab buffing heal. Just because. The Underworld. This feels like this is where I'm going to get those... The cult monsters. Okay, so they are weak to fire, fire, and fire. Hello! Meet Dragon... Ah, oh, shoot. I got the order wrong. Okay. Do we do support? Yeah. I'll do a quick support. Just... Damn that dragon. Okay, do we keep doing... Yeah. Fire shots on him. Why are you claws on him? Probably get rid of those buffs on the last guy, but I think it just don't... I don't think it's gonna matter. The third phalanx. Okay, I guess they are maxed out. Well, get rid of those buffs. And get rid of the Drigan. Hey, and we got a Erigopi egg. I don't know. Anyway, team Puff Floof. And I never really thought about using Floof as a damage dealer, but it's uh it's got some merits there. Probably go for heroism. More damage on him. Okay, next up. Let's check this sucker out. Okay, so, Spider. Sticky Threads applies two stacks of Tether. Tether decreases chance to dodge and damage dealt by 5%. Oh. Okay, also is a cleanser, also has antitoxins. Has toxic feedback, has severe upkeep, has warlock healing. 
has initial poison. Has sticky impact. This is one hell of a poisoner. Has auto heal. What else has it got? Beginning of your turn, a random mo monster in the party gains barrier. Weakening crush has lifesteal. Has. Oh, extra channel. Menda symbiosis. The channel super buff. It's a solid sucker. And what's its dark ability? Overheal. Eh, it's okay. Monster Turtle. What type of monster is it? Nature Insects. God, that picture was not great. Yeah, no multi-poison on it, though, which is a real darn shame. Oh, yes, the Underworld. Now I remember. I've been here before with one of your ancestors centuries ago. Hard, for, hard to forget a place like this. Still, those distant memories are like a blur to me. So my only advice is be careful. Leonard, Julia, what are you doing here? I could ask the same of you. How did you get inside here? Seems like Smush Cats have found all the sanctuary tokens from across the monster sanctuary and opened the door to the underworld. Huh. If I had known that those tokens were important, I would have gotten them ages ago. Anyway, Eric actually told us, uh, let us know about everything. That you opened the door and the key of power might be here. So it only made sense for us to come as well. I don't know about Will, though. Maybe Eric's message didn't reach him. Never mind him, the three of us should be able to find that key. Perhaps we shall make it a contest. Whoever finds the key of power first is the winner. Why does everything have to be a competition with you? Because he can't get over the fact that Smush Cats have saved us during the treasure hunt at Horizon Beach. Nonsense! Competition is just the best way to grow as a monster keeper, that's all. Anyway, the rules of the contest should be clear. Let's not dally any longer. Well... Now that they mentioned it, you kind of were the winner for our last contest at Horizon Beach Smush Cats Up. Let's see who will win this time. Seems like they're both scared of losing to us. They are more scared of losing to us than our surroundings. Patience and wisdom shall lead us to the key of power as well. As to victory in this contest. We... Okay, there's actually something up there. Uh, let's double check real quick. Nope, nothing. There we go. We got a creepy sky peanut. But wait, there's more. There's steel, in fact. Let's see what else we got around here. The hell's that's a mocus. It's weak to normal type moves. I actually have a couple of those on this team now that I think about it. Now, I don't have many. But I got some. Let's ruin this guy though. Okay. Ew. Let's do that. I don't have much. Wail on that guy. He ain't dead yet. What the heck? That's kind of frustrating. Let's see. Spectral Flame. I don't got much, so fiery shots. He still didn't die. Whatever, let's go for this guy. I probably should have gone for the flame claws. He's fine. We're doing okay. Are you kidding me? Kill the golem. Ah. My status effects are great. Unfortunately, this team does not 
dabble in status effects at all. Like, no fire, no poison, no butts. Kinda sucks. I guess it, we do poison. That's the one status effect that we can do. Okay, let's start with Miracle. Let's poison the poison spider. Does that make sense? Hopefully the poison will finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Lang's next. Fiery shots. Fire claws. There he goes. I probably got enough buffs. I could stack some more. But I don't think it's gonna work for me. Let's just do cleansing flame. Let's, let's get rid of his pesky little buffs. Alright, and we get a rocky egg. Unfortunately, that's the pre-evolved version, so it's not really going to help me too much. Okay, so what do we get on this guy? Uh, let's see, 35% of attack value is pretty good. 5% of max health, which I think is just going to be better. Hmm. How do we get this guy Cascade? Probably Magic Barrier. Maybe I should have looked into Critical Defense, but I don't think it's actually going to be that good on him. Nothing over there. Well, I'm liking the music for this area. Not sure about the monsters, though. But is what it is. Let's see. Probably Phalanx. Because we're going to be going fiery shots straight on this dude. Let's see if I can... Damn, that's some damage. Okay, go for Miracle. Because that'll get us the glory. So we're not really using support that much here. Do support on this one. Uh, huh. What's Cleansing Flame supposed to do more damage? Oh, because his base damage is just that much higher. Next level on him, I should probably invest in the last level on Fire Claws. Because I think it's worth it. Damn, that actually, that does, that does dangage. Okay, so in that case, we actually want to take these guys first. Fiery shots. He doesn't have any buffs. And he's dead. Never mind! Here he gets another banana. Hello. Arachlich. Weak to magic. Alright. Pretty easy solution there. Just absolutely wipe him. He looks like he's a proper occult dude man. If I had a guess. You kill it with fire. As the goal. Okay, let's do support. Let's 
wait a second. You fire claws on that guy. And then just regular claws on this guy. It doesn't have as many crits. Doesn't need it. Okay. Hit him with that, even though it's not that great, we get him with the armor break, which is exactly what we need. He didn't have any buffs. Lansing flames. There we go. Damn it! I wanted the Iraklich. He seems like he'd be great. Here, you know what? I haven't done this yet. People have been wondering what monster bells are for. That's what monster bells are for. Resummons all monsters. I'm gonna keep fighting this until we get the Iraklich. Because no matter what, I want him. Okay. So let's start with the support. Get that extra hit in. Cleansing flame on that guy. There he goes. And then probably just all in. Do more damage. Fire claws. Fiery shots. And regular claws. Ah. We don't quite get him. die. I said, please die. Nope. I wonder. Uh, let's see. Do we want to switch to the other team to try and roll through them? Maybe we do. Let's try that. And if this doesn't work, I I don't know. Because the problem is I don't have either of these guys. Which is kind of an immediate annoyance. Okay, so we could do Ice Spear Volley or just Claws. see myself doing great on this one. Not with this crew. Maybe with the amount of status effects that I, I can slap down. Let's see, do we do Ignite? No, we hit him with a Voltage. And then we hit him with Claws. No, I don't think this group's gonna beat him either. Oh, we got a Mocus Egg. I'm not really big on Mocus, but we do have a Mocus Egg. But it's probably an occult monster, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so let's take a look at Mocha. So it is only vulnerable to normal type attacks, which is actually really good. This monster gets attacked, chance to apply a random debuff to the attacker. That explains a lot. Shadowstorm hits all enemies, stack of blind. Anti-curse, debuffs are less effective against monsters in party, has multi-weakness, has the... has supply. When a monster 
in the party is revived. Heals extra, gains 3 debuffs, and 3 age stacks. Interesting. Has the group heal, has dominance. Has another hex touch. Has taunt. It'd be a good frontliner. Good passive healing. And a weak weakness to a random person at the start of combat. It's a solid tank that would replace the need for a hexer because it just does hexes. Okay, what's its first chain? Yep, whenever... So it chains debuffs to people. Okay, next up. Gotta see, where's Mokus? It is an occult beast. Oh. But I gotta t double check. And this guy is an occult glitch. Pulls the player towards a grappling anchor. I was wondering about that, if we were gonna find one of those. Okay. So Puff the Magic uh, Beatdown is still probably our best option for fighting these guys. I guess let's start investing in the crit chances. And I said I was going to go for the best tier Fire Claw. Okay, more monster bow. I will fight you until I get the Iraq Lich. Oh, let's see. Do Whirlwind? Yeah. Is Sweeter Lich an evolution? Nope. I think it's I think it's a standalone critter. Okay, let's do support, get rid of those debuffs. Go for some sheer raw damage. Beat. Wow! That should solve some problems. Those level 5 fire claws are exactly what the doctor ordered for this one. And there's the Iraklich egg. What do we name him? Okay, so let's take a look. So Nope has has multi chill, has necromancy, has some kind of healing ish moves. Grants target a cult, a goblin or a cult monster, four random buffs and a shield equal to thirty three percent of their max health. Has feast, blood drive. Whenever an enemy takes poison, burn, or congeal damage, there's a seventy five percent chance to apply a bleed stack equal to that damage. Holy shit. Has armor bypass. Has initial poison. Doesn't do multi-poison. Does do multi-chill. Has ice bolt. Has congeal. Has two saboteur shields. Has initial chill. Has shadow storm, which applies a stack of blind. Sure strike, but beyond that has bleed. Okay. And who wants to bet if we shift this sucker? No, it's not this guy. He doesn't do the bleed thing. 